Welcome to Everyday Entrepreneurs Everywhere with your host, Chris Parker. Well, hello, this is Chris Parker. I'm back and I am with, uh, again, a very special guest, uh, Joanna Bicitti, who is actually a congresswoman from Argentina, although she's located in London today and she's been moving around with all of her different activities. Thank you so much, Chris. Uh, so lovely to, to be here with you. Thank you for having me. Yes, I am uh, Joana Pizzetti from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Right now I am in London. Um, I am Congresswoman, but the power system in my, in my country and the government pushed me away because I am a little bit rebel and always question the rules and... And well, the conservative of the power system and the politics don't accept this. And because of this, they decided to push me away, create the fake news, spread the fake news in all the entire public opinion in my country. It was very hard for me to, to, to leave the, this situation because with, with, a, with, mm -hmm. a, with a lie, destroy all my reputation in my country. Um, and create also a, a, a court chaos to, to push me away because, mm. of course, the power, the, the judicial power and the cards respond to the power governments. And after that, I, decid I decided to be activist and stand up, stand, standing up for the human rights, the women rights, the children rights, because uh, we as a woman and also children um, are living with our rights violated mm -hmm. and the government doesn't does not anything to help us and because of this I am here telling with you and stand up for our rights and to help more people and inspire more and more women and also children around the world and young people also and can I ask what inspires you and motivates you because that sounds like a very sort of brave almost daring um, path to follow? What, what is the motivation for you yourself as a human? Yes, yes, yes. I am a brave person and so bold and this just makes me a lot of travels in my life. Um, my motivation is I cannot tolerate the injustice in mm. any form, in any way. I, I, it's like a like a, a stack, I don't know how do you say in English, one push in your chest and mm. I can stand and when I, when I see an injustice, I always speak up and defend the people because this is my motivation. I don't know why I am mm. feeling this. I am a human being and, and, and I can't tolerate this because of this I decided to, to work in the, in the public sector and also in the, in the third sector uh, by, acti by, by my position in activism. But yes, the, the, the injustices uh, are the things that, that move me to, to, to hack the world, to rock the world, to create a new future together, more resilient, bold and brave with the young people in power positions. Yeah, t yeah. Tell me more about your your vision of the future, because, and and the question is, um, um, a, a sort of a, a personal one as well. Because, although I'm originally American and living here in the Netherlands, and I'm watching the Black Lives Matter, you know, mm -hmm. movement happen in the states, um, the injustice, the, the the sorrow, the anger, um, and what I'm not hearing enough is what can the future look like. How can the future be better? So I'm really interested in what your view, view is, your vision for a more equitable future. Yes, totally agree with you, Chris. It's so sad to see that. But when I see this movement, it, it, on one hand, I am feeling very um, alive because we have the opportunity to create a new future and a lot of people are in the in the. In, 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 the, in the public opinion, uh, making strikes, you know, and, and stand up for their, their rights, their power. And, but I am feeling that the discrimination is not only with the racism, it's, it's mm -hmm. also with the women, with the children, yeah. with the migrants, with the refugees. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a very big problem, more 
more more bigger than 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 the races because we are living in a toxic system and we are killing each other as a human beings and we have to wake up to don't tolerate anymore the violence because uh, this is the, the the problem that are destroying our service as a human beings and we cannot live here in the humanity with love and compassion instead mm -hmm. of the violence. We need to create movements about peace. This is my, my, also my motivation. And I am very, very optimist person because in my opinion, the coronavirus is, is, is an opportunity to create this new future, but we need the people together. We are wake, we, we are uh, getting up to, to, to realize that we together are stronger and we can share our experiences and learn each other, as you say. Mm. And yes, it is a very, very good, good time, in my opinion, to create this future, uh, to create communities yeah. and to, uh, to learn to live in communities, to share experience. This yeah. is the important thing. And what would um, these movements of peace look like? Because I love, I love the words. Um, I don't feel enough people think that way. People, you know, again, I'm looking at, I'm looking from Europe towards the American situation. And I agree. It's not only the black lives matter, but it's, it's all of the different underrepresented and, and abused people. Um, what, what could a, a movement of peace look like? You know, how, how can we do that? Yes, I am working on that. I don't know how is the best way, but right now I am very committed because I am a member of different communities. Mm -hmm. you, you, may, you know, Extinction Rebellion, Sunrise Movement, 350.org, uh, well, so many, so many communities. And I am working to, to unite all of them mm -hmm. and to realize, to realize that the best, the best aim that we have to achieve is the peace movement because we need to create a new future, no fight against the old system. Forget it the case, yeah. For, yeah. forget it the past. We need to create a new one. And uh, in my opinion, this is the way. I don't know how. I am working on that mm -hmm. and trying all the time to unite different communities, but yeah, maybe we need more time. <laughs> yes. Well, well, yeah, well, I think we, you know, it, it will take time. Um, and even though we don't know the answer, that doesn't mean we should stop striving for, for a better future. Um, so how, how do you work with these different movements? And, and because sometimes people are motivated for all sorts of different reasons and they have different objectives. So that must be, well, you're, you are in a way a politician, you're a connector, you're a community yes. builder. Um, how do you go about doing that and, and getting people that have these different views and objectives and, and and start bringing them together into a stronger whole movement. Yes, it's so hard, mm. but I, I, I had the, in the past and also right now, I, I have the experience to, to work with young people and the velocity of the technology help mm. us to unite all together in, 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 the same, in the same time and space from different parts of the world. The Telegram groups, the Signal groups, the WhatsApp groups are increasing more, bigger and bigger and bigger and it's very fast, the changes. And uh, we are working right now to unite all these groups in the same place and mm -hmm. to take the action together because you know we yeah. are stronger together yeah absolutely absolutely and uh, if pe as people are listening and, and they wanted to um perhaps you know join or be part of some of these groups where would you recommend someone starts to move themselves and support actively a better future what, what, what can you yes. do as an, as an individual? What could, what could somebody like myself do? Well, my suggestion is I can avoid the, the injustice. As mm. it, it's very pain. The, the war is in pain. Mm. And I suppose all the people are feeling this. Yeah. Uh, you can, my suggestion is search in the web and look for the... There are, there are a, lot, a lot of communities. Which one? The more local, near to your home, you mm -hmm. can be part and you can help also in your neighbor, also with your family, with your friends. You can create also a new one because we are creating a lot of communities and working together and involved. And the objective mm -hmm. is to involve more and more people to realize that we need to change 
the toxic system in, in we are living right now. Yes, the web is, all the technology, the information is running in the web. We are overwhelmed with a lot of information, but instead to read the, the, the newspapers, we need to read communities and organizations and join there and read and be part, involved in your home with, with a paper, with whatever are your expertise. Mm. You, you've been in, in, in this community motivating, uh, you know, for I think for quite a while. Do you, do you feel it's getting better? Do you, do you think that we're moving to a better place? Because sometimes if you, yes. watch, if you watch the news, which I don't, I try not to, <laughs> if you watch the news, of course, they <laughs> sell a fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and, and horror. Um, not all the news, but but majority. Um, are we are we getting better? Totally agree with you. I decided since five mo- months ago. That I I didn't read and I don't read any newspapers, but we are. W- uh, it's the same that I said to you. Um, we need to create a collective narrative together, and mm. we as a human co common human beings, we can put the best news and the the good story to inspire others in the public opinion. Because right now, all the people are connected, all can see the YouTube channel, Vimeo, well, you know, a lot of apps that we have, and Instagram also, Facebook also, a lot of them. And we can create the new future, creating a collective narrative, share our, share our stories as a human beings, and how can we solve this together? This is, in my opinion, the, the way, and I am seeing that we can create it. I am working on that, and a lot of people are very committed with this. Yes. And, uh, what, I, what I personally have also been seeing is, is people are more hungry for positive news, and there's one, I just looked up... Um, on, on, on a WhatsApp group that I'm in, one of my communities trying to make yes. the world a better place. It's, it's called uh, informationisbeautiful.net. Um, and basically anything that's fact-based and database that shows that the world is beautiful and life is beautiful, they publish it there. So it's informationisbeautiful.net. It's super cool. Wow. And there's also wow. another, another channel called, I think, Goodable that I'm subscribed on Facebook. Um, yes. And all, all they do is publish um, positivity. So something I did myself early on in Corona time and COVID time is I created a Facebook group called Corona Spring, um, which is simply for, for, you know, and I've since reused the name for something more business oriented, but that's simply a place where I invited my community when they see some, a positive reaction or a positive story during this crisis, just post it there. And it's a source of, Yes. positivity and joy so I'll, I'll put that link in this as well and i would be delighted if, if you contribute to that as well but yeah um, thank there, you I, I am also i am seeing that that the people maybe it's because the information is traveling faster and be, people become more aware that they're becoming less tolerant for this as you called it toxic structure violence yeah yes. but yeah um and yeah this toxic structure with the violence um i just yeah i don't know i just and i and i like what you said about the collective narrative that we need to develop for the future because what, what what i'm missing is is the um the picture for the future you know so if exactly. if we believe toxicity and violence is not the way and peace mm-hmm. is the way okay what does that actually mean you know it's it's um because i don't know I would love it if we roll forward 20 years and we're in a, having a different conversation about that. And uh, so it, when you mention violence a lot, what do you mean? What, what is the violence that you're fighting against? The op- yes, the oppression, the oppression, because mm. uh, the power of op- op- oppressed people and also each other as a human beings, we don't realize, but her people and also oppressed people, and we need to wake up and to mm. to realize that we we need to be conscious that also the privilege system. Well, the violence, in in my opinion, is the most important problem because well, because the George Floyd, you know, is is in front of our eyes. I can't not tolerate this. Uh, this is so hard, but. 
I need to say something because the public opinion and the people are forgetting that this discrimination and this violence occurs all the time with women, with children. Yeah. And they, 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 they cannot defend it because they don't know their rights. We need to educate people to know their rights, to stand up for their rights, create a new constitution, a universal constitution, and educate all the people to stand up for our rights and create us uh, the future we, we want to create. Mm. Not the politician, not other power, not push away. Here, responsible, the people. I think we have and to, yeah, we have to start with ourselves. It's, um, and I think many times, I, sh I shared with you just before we, st we started the, 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 the actual discussion that um, there's a very special project that I've been fortunate enough to support. Um, it's the movie Silence Undone, the short film about a, uh, Linda, who is a, a brave, uh, inspirational lady who was abused as a child, um, had the bravery to speak out about it, and later, you know, has had... Fortunately, because of her growth and openness and changing herself um, and realizing what happened to her when she was a child did not define her, um, is now has a you know, very healthy adult you know, relationships. And, and then she had the further bra bravery to tell that in the form of film. And um, I think that's just so inspir inspirational, you know, to, to have the courage to do that and then, and then stand out on stage and say, hey, this happened to me. This doesn't define me. Uh, my hope is that that, you know, touches not only people who perhaps have been abused themselves, uh, but maybe also abusers um, to say, you know, to reflect on this is not okay. Or families that maybe aren't physically abusive, but maybe mentally or emotionally and and, and talk about it, you know, have that dialogue and, and seek help. So, so um, in your role as a politician and a, and a, you know, influencer of communities, um, how can we engage in that kind of meaningful dialogue to, to create that narrative for the future? What, what, what are the steps we can go through? Yes, first, first of all, let me to, to say to you, thank you, thank you, because this is a way to show the people the story that we can change it. We can invest in our mental health to live a better life, mm -hmm. also with our trauma of the past. And I would, I would like to, to, to meet Linda because mm -hmm. it's so inspired, this story, and we need to put these kind of stories as you, uh, as a film or in the media or in the YouTube channels, in all the, the, the social media, to, to educate the people at the same time that George Floyd, you know, mm. to take the conversation, to, to start to conversate about this, to first of all, to realize that this exists, is, is more common than we think in all the communities, in all the countries, in all the, in the, rich people also in the poor people in the middle class in the working class happen this yeah. unfortunately and yes in my in in my view this is the same we need to 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 put this conversation in in, in all the public opinion to involve people to help through the community uh, yes this is my view but thank you thank you for 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 create this film because this is the way to wake up people. Well, I, I only had a very small role as a mentor. Um, Magdalena is the, the uh, producer. You know, she's a young lady living in the Netherlands from Poland. Um, Linda, uh, here from base here, and, and um, they came to you know some of the established film community and said, "Help us with this." And I was impressed at how people essentially volunteered to do that. And then there was, a, there, there was actually a crowdfunding campaign um, that they were going to, to postpone because of Corona, but then they realized they, they had heard through their, their channels that like the, um, the abuse hotlines were basically going off the, off the, off the hook there, you know, the, the up 50% um, during this Corona time. Mm -hmm. And so then they made the decision to, um, put the movie out there in the crowdfunding and, and it hit hundred percent on the first day. 
it was um you know, so so people people are are wanting to support wanting to help you know it ended up yes. at like 250 percent or something and the, and what they're wanting to do with that money is is not it's not this isn't a profit motive it's hey okay so now we have a couple thousand euros let's figure out how can we distribute the film um because the, the whole mission is to get that film widely as possible so uh so maybe you have ideas how we can how we can share that yes. in argentina or yes through your your yes. communities in yeah. latin america yes. yeah that's that's what we need is 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 um and it's not just that film it's any movement i think small movement like this film or or giant movement like black lives matters you know how do you how do you uh, myself as as a white male um it's almost impossible for me to actually understand the privilege that i have but i yes. also realize that i can't understand it and so that that realization also motivates me to help in little ways and i think you know for me that's where it starts is to understand that i don't know how privileged i am i i, I just literally can't comprehend it because i don't i'm not missing what i don't have and it's and i don't I, and I, i don't know how to overcome that dilemma in humanity in order for us to collectively say hey we want to move forward so um no well i'm i'm enjoying this conversation <laughs> so um yes. so what's what is next for you what is what is your plan uh moving forward in order to yes. stimulate the the dialogue for a better future yes i am i am working uh, in a in a big community the name is war future society i invite you if if you want to be part mm -hmm. and also all the people who 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 are interested and we are creating first the vision to to show the people that we we right now can live in this future mm -hmm. and when you when you can show the people that we are living in this new future you inspire to to more people to live there and to create together and um I am working on this and it I had an amazing uh, experience because all the people love to be volunteer. Do you know the volunteer no one pay you to be volunteer mm. and you you pay with your time. And yeah. then the time the time in my opinion is the most important resource today and is the new money because I don't know what do you think I after that I I I I I prefer to to know your vision but the love is the time that you invest in some person in some people mm -hmm. and when you invest time you are loving because it's the most precious that you have your time your life your life is short and when you when you share time with others when you share your time as a volunteer without income without money and put your heart in the table and embrace all the community and the conflict also in order to transform it this is beautiful this is beautiful because we as a human beings are not perfect and also we have conflict and this conflict are so important to embrace it and to transform the society mm. and in my opinion this is the way nice this so, yes. so that's that's what you, that's going to be the theme the well, continued theme for your next uh, next 12 months 24 months This this is going to be your this is going to be your path. This is your work. Yes, my yeah. work. This is my work yeah. every day because I am very committed and I work. I do this with my heart and my passion, and I love this. But in my opinion, twelve months and twenty four months is too much. Mm -hmm. We need to create a mass mobilization in all the entire work. I am working to lead the mass mobilization in all the, the entire work. And because of this, I am trying to unite these important communities around the world and the locals also, all of them. But I am seeing that we had to do this this, this year. <laughs> this year, great. And this what, year, yeah. What is the movement that you mentioned called the World First Society? Is that what you meant? This is World Future Society. You can yeah. put in Google World Future Society and it's an app and also uh, you can read a lot of papers about them and maybe if you want next week or the other I I can share for uh, with you here the the way to involve people because i am working 
personally, I am leading a, a special team about mm -hmm. the, the growth, the, the personal growth, and to empower people like Linda to, to put your mental health and your body health and your spiritual health in, yeah. in, in your priority. And yes, it, it's so interesting. Beautiful. So that's worldfuture.org, so, I think. Yeah. So the world. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay. And how can yes. people how can people support that? What, what, yes. How can they you be can, you can download the app first and you can add sh there, there in, in this space we are sharing our experience, our stories. We are working specifically to create a future. It's work future society. Yeah. This 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 app and this uh, organization is open to all and we are creating the future. Creating the future. And it, it's an Great. amazing experience. Yeah, an amazing experience. Beautiful. And it's well, yes. I will put the um, the link into the uh, the notes of this so people can find it. And also, um, um, are there other ways that they can find you? Because I know you're on on LinkedIn, but are, is there other ways that they can reach out to you and and learn more yes. about your activities? My activities is in Instagram, Joanna Pisetti, Twitter, Joanna Pisetti, mm -hmm. and LinkedIn. And and maybe if if you if you want it next week or the other, I I we have another notice to to invite people to create a mass mobilization. There's an an announcement coming. Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, can you tease me? Yes. Can you tease me a little what the announcement is? Yes, we are working uh, in movement of movements to mm -hmm. collect all the movements together in the same time and space. We are working with artists from all over the world because mm -hmm. we need to unite the artists with the science. Yep. And and I am working on that. And maybe the next week or the other, yes, I I I I will be able to to involve to invite and to involve more and more people in this. Yes, okay, I am so honored. Yes. Well, I, I really look forward to that. So also the World Future Society is worldfuture.org. Um, looks like people can sign up to there for the newsletter, and there's also some programs where you can join and, and, and support uh, financially as well. So um, really, really great stuff. So uh, is there anything else you'd like to share before we wrap up with people? Um, maybe a closing uh, motivational um, question or, or challenge? Yes. Um we always have to believe in our selfies. We need to know our rights, stand up for our rights, defend people, uh, be uh, human with each other, create love and compassion in all of your works. And yes, we need you. We need you. We need yeah. all the people yeah. in the entire world doing the same to, to share love and compassion and to create a new future together. Right. Well, and we need you too. So thank you for what you're doing and thank you for yeah. challenging and thank you for inspiring and connecting. So great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining and, and being so open yeah. on this. I appreciate it. Yeah. The same to you and your film. I am eager to, to watch it. Mm. Yes. Right. Thank well, you, Chris. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, bye. Yeah. Have a nice day. So I will stop there. So, um, so that's the end of the end of the uh, of the podcast. That was fun. Thank you for for the openness in the. Evening. I love you. You are so yes. You inspire me because I am so tired, and I say, "Oh no, my gosh, I don't have energy to put here." But yes, I. You can. found the energy somehow. You, you, <laughs> yes, you found it, I don't so. know where. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so tell me more about the announcement because you have you have an is it like a, a yes world feature because announcement. I, Yes, I am not ready to, to share, but I am working also with the different projects from Extinction Rebellion, Sunrise Movement, 350.org, Amazon mm -hmm. Watch, um, Friday for Future, Greenpeace. Also, uh, we are, mm -hmm. e bueno, the Burning Man projects that I, I am working on that because maybe the next week, I can be the opportunity to present my project and they are support me mm -hmm. to lead the mass mobilization. And yes, it's for me, I don't know how right now, but I am, I am seeing that this is very close to us. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll go get some rest. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Learn more at ebillion.com slash podcast.